Hi, and welcome back to another episode from HowToExpo.com. My name is Vera, and I'm making today monkey bread. To print this recipe, visit HowToExpo.com. To make this recipe, you will need refrigerated biscuits, just like this one. I'm using a 7.5 ounce can, and when you open the can, this is what you'll find inside. Cut the biscuits in half. If you're using a larger biscuit, for instance, if you're using the 12 ounce cans, you will need to cut them in four. And once I'm done cutting all of them, what I do is I get a Ziploc bag and I add one cup of granulated sugar and one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon. Mix that together well. Now we have made cinnamon sugar. Then what I do is I add each piece of biscuit dough, several at a time, but you don't want to overcrowd it, and just coat the dough well with the sugar and cinnamon. And then when you take it out, this is what it will look like. So this is how the dough looks after it's well coated with the sugar and cinnamon. I use six cans of the 7.5 ounce um, of refrigerated biscuits. You can also use the 12 ounce cans. Just cut the dough in four pieces instead of two, and I would use two cans, two to three cans, depending on how big your cake tin is. So let's go to the stove. What I have here is a sauce pot, and I've added three quarter cup of unsalted butter. I'm just gonna wait until that melts. And meanwhile, crush the one cup of walnuts into small pieces. Once the butter is melted, I add the walnuts and the one cup of brown sugar. Mix it together well. I also add one fourth teaspoon of cinnamon. And you're not gonna cook this or anything, you just want it well combined. You can turn the heat off and set it aside for a few minutes and allow it to cool down a little. So our brown sugar and walnut mixture is ready. If you would like, you can also use pecans or any nuts that you prefer. I get a cake pan and spray it with, with oil. Once you put half of the biscuit dough on the bottom of the cake pan, add half of the syrup on top. Spread it out. Then continue with the rest of the dough. Once you're done with all the dough, just add the, the rest of the syrup right on top. I've already preheated my oven at 350 degrees. So I'm gonna bake this in the oven for 30 to 35 minutes. So after baking it for 35 minutes, I took it out of the oven and I'm just gonna let it settle for about 10 minutes and cool down a little bit. After it's cooled down a little bit, all I do is take a plate and put it right on top and simply just turn it over. And with just a little bit of assistance, it'll come out just like that. This is served warm. The reason it's called monkey bread or pull bread, you just take a piece and pull it off and eat it. Hope you give it a try. Find the recipe and directions on our website at howtoexpo.com. Until next time, this is Sarah. For great tips and ideas for your next meal, visit howtoexpo.com.